Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and the very first episode in this new Did You Know series as we take a look at 5 things you might not know in Dota V 2K19. As always, if there's anything that you would like to suggest to be covered in this series, then please do leave a comment below and you could get a shout out in the next episode. Did you know it's possible to assign entry numbers to all participants in the Royal Rumble? This year in Dota 2 2K19, not only can players customise all 30 of the participants in the Royal Rumble match, but 2K have also added the new ability for players to select the entry numbers for all participants, meaning this year you can fully customise the Royal Rumble match and select which superstar you want to enter first, all the way up to number 30. To do this, from the selection screen, press Y on Xbox or triangle on PlayStation to head into the match options screen where you'll see a new option for entry order. Upon selecting this, you'll see a full list of all superstars in the match with their entry number set as random, however should you select any of these superstars then you'll see this option to change their entry number allowing you to set any number from number 1 all the way up to number 30. Did you know it's possible to assign custom side plates and create a superstar? This year, 2K have worked with Dota 8 to incorporate all of the current Dota 8 Championship side plate designs into the game, meaning whenever you see a superstar and are with one of the current Dota 8 World Championships for either the men or the women, then if these superstars have a custom side plate design, then this will automatically be applied to the championship. Additionally, for custom superstars, they too can utilise custom side plates as we now have this new option within Create a Superstar in which you can set a custom side plate design for both the left and the right side of the championship with all of the current Dota 8 side plate designs listed including side plates for the likes of Daniel Bryan, Brock Lesnar and AJ Styles as well as legend side plates for Macho Man Randy Savage, Ultimate Warrior and the NWO as well as various superstar logos that can also be used. Did you know it's possible to play a backstage brawl at the Wyatt Compound? When the WWE 2K19 gameplay trailer was released, one of the main things that caught everybody's attention was the inclusion of the Wyatt Family Compound complete with a circle of cars, a rocking chair, a tractor and of course the house itself as the compound is one of the big parts of this year's My Career Mode when interacting with Bray Wyatt. One thing you might not be aware of though is that despite not being listed in the unlockable section, you can actually unlock the compound itself for exhibition matches after playing through My Career as should you choose to play a backstage brawl and customise the arena then you'll see that the wide compound is also available for selection. Whilst this is a cool addition, the only downside to using the compound in exhibition matches is that there is no interactive elements as all of the interactive items shown in the trailer are exclusive to My Career, therefore whilst the wide compound is playable, it's nothing more than a visual space outside side of my career mode. Did you know it's possible to add fog and special crowd lighting in Create an Arena? When it comes to custom arenas, this year 2K have added some brand new options for players to further customise the look and feel of their arena, firstly with the ability for players to add fog to the arena and secondly with the option to change the arena's lighting making it possible to create a dark or colourised arena. In order to use these new options, what you'll want to do is head into the other option of the main Create an Arena menu where you'll find a new category called Visual Condition. Upon selecting this, you'll be given 5 options to customise including Hue, Saturation and Contrast which allow you to give the arena lighting a specific colour such as the Cruiserweight style purple lighting that I've chosen here. Additionally, players can control how much fog is shown in the arena ranging from 0 all the way up to 255 which sees the arena completely filled with fog and making it harder to see. Finally, should you wish to have a dark arena then should you choose the new lighting option then you'll see 8 different preset options to choose from including options for a darker blue and purple arena which upon selecting you can also then customise to use any of the previous options including fog allowing you to create an epic looking dark arena filled out with fog similar to the one that was seen on the main menu of WWE 2K18 last year. Seth Rollins is in position. <laughs> Seth Rollins delivers the pain in an astonishing fashion folks. Ouch. This one is over. Did you know it's possible to win a steel cage match by breaking through the cage wall? This year in WWE 2K19, 2K have added a brand new match specific OMG moment for the steel cage match that allows players the ability to win the match using a new OMG moment that sees them thrown through the side of the cage and outside to the floor. To perform this new OMG moment, you'll first need to make sure that your superstar has assigned both the fired up and finisher breakout skills, then make sure that you have two stored finishers and at least 50% stamina available. At this point, what you want to do is drag your opponent to the rope position on the ramp side of the ring and then hold R1 on PlayStation or RB on Xbox and press the finisher button. He's in 
inflicting some serious pain here. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. There's no quit in these guys, but unfortunately only Lesnar did it! What a performance! So there you go, that was five things you might not know in Dota 8 2K19. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I would love it if you could drop it a like to show your support, as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features, and if there's any other secrets, hints, or easter eggs that you think I should cover. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Dota new episodes, and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though, all that's left for me to say is I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.